This past fall, I placed a leaf I had picked off the ground. Between the pages of a worn paperback, I found, on a shelf of books abandoned in my youth. I didn't know that leaf would rest in the very spot, where bodies of young men centaured on horses rode over a ground made spongy by April and rains. No, the book remained closed, the secret latched by a long winter. Till this March, I dug it out and opened the grave, where that leaf sat between the pages upon the poem, always from my first boyhood. And as I read it, the horseman came to life until the brittle bickering of twigs subsided from their hoofbeats. There, memories long locked, blocked in, escaped, were resurrected, took to wing, in a fifth season where secrets peer out from behind doors not closed. And I lay as in my boyhood bed, listening, as he said, he never dreamed. And then he died for good in March, taking his unavowed past, but leaving behind his harmonica. Those who fight most love most, she'd say. Then with a sigh, she let her last breath take flight and went to sleep as the earth was about to awake, leaving sweet dreams on her lips. Three Aprils have now passed. That leaf from last year connected my youth this very long winter and that poem, I Am But Clay. I've now felt spring rains fall fifty times and loved how the sopping connects me to earth. My clammy skin wraps a sodden bone the way matted roots hold tight to soil in the chill. I love the smell of the quaggy April ground. You know that mucky, sodden scent that's nearly foul. That smell of rebirth and life resurrecting. I wonder if that leaf knew when it caught my eye on the ground. Or if long dead John Peel Bishop would mind this connection after a long winter spring. Thank you.